Zorin OS has announced the beta release of version 18, the next major update to this popular, user-friendly Ubuntu-based Linux distribution, giving users a pretty good idea of what to expect in the final edition. The main highlights are a refreshed design, new productivity features, and improved compatibility with apps and services. The distro is built on Ubuntu 2.04.3 LTS and runs on the Linux kernel 6.14. However, that also means its package base isn't exactly cutting edge. For example, the Zorin desktop is built against GNOME 46, which was released in March 2024. Anyway. The first thing users will notice is the redesigned desktop experience. In fact, it's the distro's strongest side that usually wins followers. The panel now uses a floating, rounded style, strongly reminiscent of the KD panel, and system apps like files, settings, and calendar have been updated with cleaner layouts. On top of that, a new camera app replaces Cheese, while Evolution Mail introduces a more modern interface. Plus, the default theme has been reworked with a lighter palette and additional accent color choices, including yellow and brown. The other striking novelty is on the productivity front. Zorin OS 18 introduces new tiling capabilities. To take advantage of it, simply drag a window to the top of the screen and drop it into one of the predefined layouts. More advanced options include creating custom layouts, enabling auto-tiling, or setting up personalized key bindings. The goal is to make multitasking more straightforward for both new users and power users. Web app integration is another major highlight. With the built-in web apps tool, any site can be turned into a desktop application. That means Microsoft Office 365, Google Docs, Adobe Photoshop, and other cloud-based tools can run directly from the start menu and behave like native apps. For Windows migrants, Zorin OS 18 also expands its app suggestion system, pointing users toward native or web-based alternatives when a Windows executable is launched. Cloud integration extends further with OneDrive support. Through online accounts in the Settings app, users can log into Microsoft 365 and browse OneDrive files directly from the sidebar in the Files app. Lastly, additional improvements include Remote login using ARDP a redesigned Zorin menu with multi-monitor support, search everywhere in the Files app, better sound quality with Pipewire enabled by default, expanded hardware support with updated drivers. For more information, see the announcement. The beta version of Zorin OS 18 Core is available for download today, though the developers caution against using it in production environments. Upgrades from Zorin OS 17 will be enabled once the stable release arrives in the coming weeks. As an LTS release, it will receive support until April 2029.